All right, it's Thanksgiving, Mopar fam. And we're carving the truck instead of the turkey. Yeehaw. What's up, Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. We have a brand new box. Just came in from Frostbite. This is gonna be a huge mod. So let's get the box open, check it out, and see what we got. Simon says. going on frostbite this is a brand new air to water intercooler 1500 horsepower rating from 417 motorsports these things are custom made tig welded they build them in-house american made these things are jam up and they look amazing the other thing they have they have water outlets on both sides of the intercooler so you can plumb um, depending on your build, you can use either side of the intercooler to run your water, um, inlet and outlet. But we're going to get the camera over here and we're going to get zoomed in on here really good. So the first thing I want to kind of show is the craftsmanship of these intercoolers. So one thing, they put their logo in the intercooler here. You can see 417 Motorsports has a little TIG torch right there. These things are awesome. I mean, they got stenciled into the aluminum. It is an awesome looking piece. Tremendous craftsmanship and quality. Um, again, you have your inlet and or outlet, however you want to do it, on both sides of this intercooler assembly. And both sides, front and back, has the logo also engraved. So depending on how you got to put it, you can use either side and you still get an awesome 417 Motorsports logo to look at. So this would be the bottom of the intercooler right here. Very nice intercooler rows. You got the top and they have the base right here machined to accept the o-ring. They supply you with an o-ring and some hardware, some studs, nuts to be able to install this onto your Holly High Ram. And this is the smaller model, they have two. Um, this is the 1500 horsepower rated, two and a half inch thick assembly. And then they have a taller one that I believe, um, I'm just kind of taking a guess here. I want to say the other one's around three and a half or four inches thick. Um, it may be even bigger, um, but it's much bigger than this one. Um, but they offer two, this is a smaller one. And this is gonna fit on Frostbite. This is gonna fit on the Ram trucks with a Holly High Ram. Now you do have to modify your firewall and wiper cowl area a little bit. We're gonna have to cut some. Um, you guys will see that coming soon in the install video of this thing. But that is the awesome new intercooler piece for Frostbite. So obviously we're gonna be ditching the old air to air intercooler setup that we built. Basically I custom put it together using all kinds of different stuff to make it work. So we're gonna be going to the air water intercooler from 417 Motorsports. We're gonna be adding a ice box in the back of the bed. Um, I'm doing a five gallon tank so that we can pump water through the intercooler and we can obviously add ice to it. We can dump bags of ice in it and actually be able to pump ice water through it for the track use. Um, so a lot of changes going down. Um, also, all the air-to-air -air intercooler old stuff that we're taking off of Frostbite, we're going to be installing onto Project Storm. So we'll have a video with that coming up soon. Um, so that truck will be going to an intercooler setup. We're still going to use meth, but it's going to be just like Frostbite was, um, running both systems on the truck. So lots of changes coming up soon. 
We're gonna take this, and we're gonna start installing it on Frostbite and get that video done here soon. So stay tuned to the channel. Lots of cool things coming up and I can't wait to hit the track with this thing. Um, I'm kind of predicting getting rid of the front air to air intercooler system we're going to be basically losing volume. Um, so we should make maybe a little bit more boost. We might gain a pound of boost. Um, obviously, we're going to be tremendously colder being able to pump ice water through it. Um, so that's the biggest thing we're looking at is the IET temps. Um, but we should gain possibly a little bit of a boost increase and it should spool a little quicker. We might make boost a little bit faster than we do uh, currently going to this because we got way less plumbing um, no more intercooler in the front no more plumbing we're going to have a short pipe that goes straight off of the torque storm supercharger directly to the highly high ram and it's going to be a short pipe that's probably two feet long if that so um, kind of similar to how storm is storm makes a good amount of boost even running the very large pulley because we don't have an intercooler on that truck it is a short pipe running straight from the blower right into the manifold and on the 3.5 pulley storm is making about nine and a half pounds of boost it's it's making a good amount of boost for having that really large pulley um, because it don't have all the intercooler parts to have to pressurize as well so again here we go awesome part from 417 link to this exact intercooler will be in the video description below so if you're interested click it it'll take you right to 417 and you can check them out again they offer two of them that i know of this is the short two and a half version two and a half inch thick and then they have a taller one um, that is almost double this size for some serious horsepower builds um, but i think this is going to be more than enough for frostbite for a long time to come so here we go as always stay safe out there guys don't forget hit that subscribe button hit the like button put a comment down there about your opinion, what you think of this intercooler setup, and we'll see you on the next one. Mustang has some traction challenges on the starting line. To the 60 foot, the right lane, the truck is 7 tenths of a second faster.